What's up guys, it's so you a slayer and welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, what is up? So you the gang, Slay family, we are back with another video and as you can tell today I'm doing a skincare routine. I came to you with no makeup on, just lashes and lip gloss baby girl because we're going to be doing a skincare routine, a 2020 updated routine that is going to show you guys how to battle hyperpigmentation, breakouts, acne, melisma, all of that stuff. I've been through it all. I am the CEO, I am the founder of every product in the world I've bought. So now I can actually come and give sound advice mine i'm not in a perfect place at all it's not perfect but it's progressing and that's what's important for me um that i see progress every day and i'm going to show you guys pictures and stuff like that because i think it is important to um appreciate the journey and see where you've come from and be like you know what i've actually i did that you know i did that um, and i know the skin's become such a big thing on twitter and like instagram places like oh my gosh skin care girls skin girls skin breathe like, girls go through bad skin girls go through good skin and i think it's just important to feel confident enough to walk out that door knowing that you're beautiful regardless period and sometimes that is really really hard and i know throughout of all of uni i never felt like that i never felt that i looked pretty without makeup and i think that's absurd now also we need to remember not to place our importance or our our, or our beauty on artificial things or even things like your face like that's gonna fade away eventually like so yeah just stand on what god says about you you're fearfully and wonderfully maybe we go and that's what's important i'm gonna be showing you standout products affordable products um not so affordable products and affordable um ranges or places that sell skincare products and um the best ones for you or just give you the advice so you can go search for yourself i really hope that this video is helpful i wish i had a video like this when i was struggling all those four years of my life and let's get straight into it so every person needs a cleanser um a moist a cleanser a toner a moisturizer and sunscreen what cleansers should you use um cleansers literally you need them to get off your makeup get off any gunk on your in your face or in your pores don't worry too much about cleansers just as long as you feel like it properly leaves your skin feeling soft it doesn't strip your skin and it also really gets out all of that junk um, and that's pretty much what you need for cleansers and um, I'm going to leave some cleansers that I've used I've used a face theory cleanser this has little bits in it and it's lemon scented and it was pretty good body shot cleanser right now I'm using the nip and fiber glycolic cleanser the next thing I use is a toner now when you're battling with um, hyperpigmentation and acne toners are really important um, they get off anything excess as well as brighten up your skin they actually target those problem areas as well so the toner I would use was is the glycolic toner from the ordinary this is my favorite toner I've ever used if you're battling from hyperpigmentation you definitely need it it brightened up my skin within two days of using it didn't get rid of the pigmentation straight away but it definitely brightened up my skin. I really highly recommend this toner because it's affordable as well. But if you're looking for personal opinion, this is a picture that I had um, probably two days before I, used, I got the glycolic toner in May, and this was two days after I had used it. So the pigmentation not gone, but you can tell my skin is brighter. And over time, I think this is a product that really works long term. Yeah. Moving on. Um, I use a moisturizer. Oh, first of all, I have my serums that I put in the middle of that. So nowadays I've been using my Niacinamide serum. Now there's been a lot of serums on on the ordinary that I have had a go at. I've tried to use the hydrochloric acid one, didn't work for me. I've tried to use the salicylic one, didn't really do anything. Um, this is the first serum, even though this is Superdrag own brand, it's only because I couldn't wait four or five days for the ordinary to ship me um their one i feel like this has been quite effective it's definitely helped in the texture and how smooth my makeup but in terms of battling hyperpigmentation the niacinamide one has been really good but i'll do a little bit of research of other ones or other um other serums or other acids serums are, are really good. important to introduce into your skincare routine because Acid serums especially are what's going to get rid of the dead layer of skin on top faster than say using a skincare brush because 
basically both of them are ways to exfoliate, right? So skincare brush is exfoliating, but manually. The acid, um, the serums and the acids, they do it chemically, and so in turn it's faster. Um, and the best ones for that are glycolic acid and lactic acid. Um, these get rid of that dead skin just quicker than usual. So yeah, just be careful when using acids, do research, but the mycelium that I use as well at night sometimes, but I even use it in the day, is the Kiehl's Dark Spot Corrector. Now, I don't know what this has in it, but I believe it is chemical, obviously. And um, this thing changed my skin. I will ride or die for this product. I bought two bottles, and each bottle is 38 pounds. But, <laughs> Hear me out, it has been amazing. I'm gonna put a before picture here and after, that was I think three weeks apart um, and you can tell the difference, like, you can see the results for yourself. I really highly recommend this product. Um, I believe that uh, Cause X also have their own, Origins have one. Yeah, have a look at their products and just read the description and if it says that it fights dark spots and then read the reviews if people said that it actually helped and go on YouTube and look at reviews then before buying um, it. I at first bought it from Kiehl's after watching the review. I think I had 20% off at the time so it was around 32 or something pound. The smallest bottle which I think is 40 mils has lasted me three to four months at a time. You literally need the tiniest droplet, put it on your face, leave it for five minutes. Don't pile on your products. Leave at least two, three minutes between each one. And um, that product changed my skin, baby girl. Changed my skin, period. I can't, like, oh, I didn't even look. Because my skin, my actual routine was doing so well, my cleanser was getting rid of everything, like the gunk, so I wasn't really getting spots anymore. The toner was also dealing with that. My serums were getting rid of my hypermutation. My moisturizer was making sure that my skin was soft and not dry, making it cracky and horrible. Like, my routine was working so well. When I introduced the serums, it was just a bonus, bonus. It was just a bonus to what I was already had in place. So that's why I think it's so important for you guys to build your routine first. I've given you every step of a routine and products you can use within that. Um, and then you add the serums as a bonus to it, something that you've already got going that's really consistent and good. Consistency is key, you have to do this every day and every night guys. There's no matter where you're going, if you're going to a house party, you come back at 3am, you cleanse your skin. You've gone to a birthday dinner, you're tired, you come back at 1, you have work at 9, you take your makeup off and cleanse your skin. Don't lack, don't lack, because when you wake up in the morning with three spots on your chin, you're going to be pissed off at yourself. Like the difference between 3rd of September photos and um, 3rd, 6th of August, one month apart and I've been using the serum consistently, the results are shocking. Um, and so yeah, that's my serums and then my moisturiser, I would suggest using anything with vitamin C, vitamin E in it. They're really good for keeping your skin moisturized the whole night, um, the whole night and the whole day without you getting oily. Because I would really like, I would pile it on when I was using like shea butter because people say shea butter is good, coconut oil, no, none of that. Get yourself a moisturizer. The one I use is from Superdrug, it's super cheap. I also used to use the vitamin uh, C moisturizer or E moisturizer from the body shop. Um, just nothing too heavy because you put on like three serums now. If you then slap on something again that's heavy, your skin's just not gonna breathe and then you're gonna break out. So that's what I suggest with that. I also suggest like oils, especially when you're going to bed at night, maybe not during the day so much, but like rose oil, or tamina oil. A face theory has a good deal on the rose oil right now, as well as the ordinary, they've got um, a rose oil, and I think Revolution has yeah. a rose oil as well. So rose oil is really good because it's got healing properties in it. It's gonna um, soothe your spots uh, and scars as well. It's gonna help fade over yeah. my skin masks and scrubs. I use a glycolic scrub. I use that every three days. Um, I use a mask probably every two weeks. I just have the Garnier mask. My brother had um, really, really, really bad hormone acne and when he, 
he told me that this product cleared up his acne. I think his skin just patterned up, but he wrote, he still uses this and he's like, what, 26, 27 now? He still uses that product, so um, I just use it as a mask. It's a three-in-one, a mask, a scrub, and a cleanser, but I use it as a mask, and it's got salicy salicylic acid. So if I've had a few spots, like I have one here, um, I had one here that was much bigger and I had a few like here as well. I just put it on consistently every every day um, over the spots before I cleanse my face. I'll leave it on for about 20 minutes and then just on those problem areas, I don't need it on the whole thing um, when I have breakouts and then I wash it. To this, that's basically my routine and I've kind of explained products different products alternative products that you can use or substitute within that routine but those are the four things that you need uh, cleanser moisturizer cleanser toner moisturizer sunscreen oh i didn't talk about sunscreen sunscreen is really important please put sunscreen on i forget to do it all the time but please put it on because if you're putting on acids every day and then you're going out under the sun is you're just you're just reversing the work and it's just going to take longer I have literally a basic sunscreen from Superdrug. I've been using it for about a year. It's 50 SPS and I just SPF, I put it on every day. Substitute things as you as you wish. If you're like, oh, I don't think I need that glycolic cleanser, actually yeah, she has. Maybe let me try a cleanser from Cetaphil or cleanser from Body Shop. Like you can substitute as you want, but make sure you've got those four steps as you're doing it every day. Then on the right hand side, you've got your serum. That's what's important for hyperpigmentation and um, serum. That's what's going to fight those dark marks. Scrubs and mask is whether you, you feel like you need it, but I would recommend including that on a bi-weekly bi basis, basically. Um, so yeah, just write down those five steps. Write down what you use right now, or if there's anything that you think could be substituted, anything you think you could be spending more time on or more money on um, just to get the results that you need. You don't need a skin pill, you don't need IV pill, you don't need none of those things. Like You just need consistency and good products and knowing your skin and what you need and what you're combating. So yeah, I refilmed this video three times because I just felt like I wasn't given enough information. I felt like it just wasn't clear enough, it wasn't cohesive, but I'm going to edit it in a way that you can literally see everything that you need and it's really clear for you to grab the information that you want i've put the pictures up as we've gone along so you can see that i'm not waffling and that these things really helped me i really 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 want to help you guys or anyone that's clicked on or stumbling across this video i really hope that these products work put comments down below if anything did help you or if you have alternative products that you want to help people with because it's a community like we all want to we all want to be confident without makeup so let's just help each other and yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, drink water as much as you can. Watch your diet. Don't eat too much fatty foods. I think I've given every tip that I have in my lock closet, in my locker. If you have any burning questions, please, please message me and I will reply because I don't know how well this video will come across. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and um yeah check the description below for everything every product that i spoke about and more and yeah god bless and i'll see you guys in the next one